Hey, May, um, that's, that's the challenge of having to, uh, um, you know, have all that great food and still somehow keep the girlish figure, huh? <laughs> so what's, what's uh, do you have any thoughts about um, dressing for the holidays that kind of uh, are, are, uh, provide a little bit of flexibility? Well, what's fun it, if you want to stay away from dressing for the holidays is this, this little idea. If you go to UglySweater.com, it's, remember the awful holiday sweaters that everyone sees some light up. They sell them on QVC. But if you want a little giggle, um, it's www.uglysweater.com. <laughs> and that's your holiday sweater. I have an image of my husband's maternal grandmother standing at the Christmas table. And she has a poncetta sweatshirt on that is hand-painted, and it matches her linens. Oh, God. <laughs> right, right. But for the hostess of the occasion, I always believe in dressing comfortably but with a little sass. To so start with a great shoe, a flat from French Soul in Canal Place, or some aggressive aggressive pointy toe flat shoes from Angelique Shoe on Maple. And start with your, your foundation, your footwear, especially if you're entertaining. And always add a little sass. And you can do that with a very stylish apron. Those seem to be coming back. Um, everybody needs an apron. Some of them look like you can wear them as dresses. You can find those at Old New Blue at the end of Magazine Street. Or when you say the end of, you mean the upper end of, the right? The very, very yeah. end, mm-hmm. before, right before you hit the river, right before you hit River Bend, and it's called Old New Blue. Okay. And they have wonderful... Past the park? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right past the, right past, right, cl- right, right before the park. the park. Right before the park. Oh, oh, oh yes. okay. And yeah, then I anthropology has 20 to 30 lined up on a rack at all times. And <laughs> some of these you want to wear out your house. <laughs> they're wonderful. Yes. That's a great idea. Um, now, here's the thing that I, I find uh, that uh, people kind of, as you said, with the uh, corniness, the, yeah, mm-hmm. that, that corny factor, you, you really have to somehow duck that. But at the same time, be in the spirit of the season. So, I mean, really, all you have to do is go with autumnal colors. I see that you're wearing a sweater that has, you know, browns and golds and black and white, and you have a gold scarf around your neck. You know, if you just go with a color, I do that a lot. I really am so seasonally oriented. I don't know why, but I I like to take pleasure in in the fun of the season. So um, the colors are just a big factor. Well, the temperature change I think directs us on how we want to dress. So you feel more in the spirit of the holidays. So you're going to wear rust. You're going to wear oranges. You're going to wear grays. You're going to wear textures that add a little extra oomph. Um, I have a little sweater dress on. I have what I would wear on Thanksgiving Day. I have comfortable boots on, some nice tights, and my dress actually came from Target. So um, always looking for a bargain. Oh, gosh. You know, that reminds me. I totally missed a, a, a major opportunity. There's a new line of, I don't know how to pronounce that designer, Margie Maggiola, something like that. How's, how does that go? Martin Mariella. Martin Mariella. Yes. Martin Mar- and, and, Mariella. And they just did a new line for H&M, right? Is that H&M? Yes, yes. Right. And um, I'll bet you anything that's all sold out already because oh, yes. it looks so cool online. And you can buy it online. It's an and awful, you couldn't buy no, it online. No, ma'am, you cannot. Uh. But you can find great little, if, you're, if you haven't bought your Thanksgiving outfit, um, I would suggest starting, um, Saks has great, Chico's has great little outfits. If you don't like a little dress, you can get a colored skinny pant and jean, jeans that they have at Target if you want to spend a bundle. Wear or a few, sweater on Yes, top. and a great, something that you Blouse. can layer. Because if you're in the kitchen and if you're in and out, you don't want anything hanging. You don't want a scarf. It's going to get in your gravy. You, get, you, don't <laughs> want it, you don't want anything too glamorous that might get a little whipped cream on it at the end of the day. Right. But a little soda water will take That's all why that. I, I never wear a scarf in a cup, <laughs> no. just for that reason. <laughs> no. A little, a little sequin um, vest. Exactly. That works much better. Um, now, on the other hand, so we've just been downplaying the idea of the corny, yet what would be fun is to do the corny ironically. Mm-hmm. And so you go back to some of the vintage stuff, 
you know, you could probably get some crazy top with turkeys all over it in, in some. We have such a, we have a, an abundance now of vintage stores, right? You have, um, and fantastic consignment stores um, that also, some specialize in vintage. There is Swap, which is an upscale, high-end designer. There is one on Maple Street. I do not know the address. I know it's very close to Starbucks. There's about three of them, actually, right there, because you've got mm-hmm. Encore is yes, one of them, yes, right? Yes. And then that other one that has the real sort of high-end stuff. I forget the name Swap. of it. Swap. Swap. Oh, that's Swap. Yes. Okay. And they have a new one at the foot of Mattery Road over by the Animal Hospital. Oh, by the yes, uh, small two. animal, yes. Mettery Small Animal Clinic. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm, okay. Take your dog in. <laughs> but and, and take a little walk while you're waiting for him to And come get out. a Gucci handbag all at once. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, the second, I have two more questions for you because the second question is um, getting into the Christmas holidays. Here's something that I've observed, and tell me you're wrong. I, I, I feel like. And, and, and New Year's, of course. And we can talk about this again later in the year, too. But um, people tend to overdo it, I think. And they get a little too glittery, a little too sparkly. And to me, it looks, I don't know, maybe I'm just uh, old-fashioned or something. So I tend to find that stuff just a little too flashy and, dare I, I say, cheap. What? <laughs> No, it's okay. You, you can say they look like they belong hanging on the Christmas tree. Would, would <laughs> might be more appropriate. I I love a little sparkle and shine. I love. I am drawn to anything that has a feather or a sequin on it. But I do go with this rule: as you would only wear one animal print at a time. Like you would wear one either leopard or zebra, just one tiny little piece. The same goes for your sequins. Just, there's no need to have the tiara that has the sparkle and shine, the one that looks just like a Christmas tree lit up at night. It, but then do a black sweater, do a black legging, maybe do a pin. There's no need to have the blouse, the earrings, the pants. It, just a little bit goes a long way. But it's fun. It, it gives you an excuse. Courtney, you've been, um, I can see, just begging to chime in. Hey, this is your host for Crosstown Conversations, Gene Nathan, asking you to come join us on Thursdays at 10 a.m. with a diverse cast of characters talking about politics, neighborhoods, culture, environment, and some updates on the business and nonsense of New Orleans. That's Crosstown Conversations, Thursdays at 10 a.m. on WBLK 1230 a.m. and WBLK 1230 a.m.com. Real talk for real times. <laughs>